Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an easy everyday fall makeup. It's officially October, which is absolutely wild. The weather is cooling down. I've pulled out all of my sweaters and I'm absolutely loving just the cooler weather. And I also always look forward to fall because of the makeup. So for this tutorial, I really wanted to do something that's fall inspired with some muted tones, but I kind of wanted to make it a little bit more of a transition from summer to fall. So there's gonna be some summery elements to it. It's gonna make the face look really healthy and glowy, but there's still a little element of grunge and fall, which I'm really loving as well. I wanted to do something kind of 90s inspired with a little bit of 60s in there too. So here's the before and after so you guys can see the exact look that we're gonna be going into. I really love monochromatic looks when it comes to an everyday makeup look because it's so easy to just pick one color and kind of match everything. You look super polished and it doesn't take too much effort. So let's just get right into it. Like I said before, every single thing is going to be affordable. Most of the things are from the drugstore. Some things are from the dollar store and I do have one ColourPop item, but it's technically drugstore. I'm gonna start off by priming the face using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. This makes the skin look so beautiful, especially in the T-zone. And I feel like every time that I need just a little bit of a blur in the T-zone, this is such a great product to use. You don't need that much. And I just like to kind of run it over top of the areas where I have larger pores, which for me is just in the T-zone. So I'm just taking my finger and quickly kind of applying that in the T-zone. For foundation, I'm gonna be using my current favorite affordable foundation. This is from Believe Beauty. It's $5, it's available at Dollar General, and it seriously is such a stunning foundation. It wears beautifully on my skin. So I wanted to use this, I used the shade Nude, and then I wanted to incorporate a little bit of glow to kind of help with that transition from summer to fall. So I'm taking the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion, and this is actually in the shade Medium Glow. It's a little bit deeper than what I usually use. And I'm gonna mix in about that much of the glow product into one pump of foundation. I'm gonna give that a good mix on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to dot this all over the face. And I need my foundation brush. I've been super into the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. This came in a set that I recently talked about in my favorites video and it's so good. And I'm just gonna start to apply that all over the skin. The weather got so cold yesterday that we turned on our fireplace and it was so cozy, you guys. I absolutely love fall. I'm hoping that it's not a very short fall because I live in Utah and usually um, the winter is like six months out of the year. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to enjoy fall to its fullest because usually we get snow, like a heavy snow by uh, Halloween. We actually already got a little bit of snow, which is wild. It snowed yesterday. It didn't stick or anything, but it was definitely the first snowfall of the season, which was absolutely wild. It's a little too early for snow in my opinion, but that's Utah for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press this into the skin. I took what was left on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna go ahead and press this into the skin using my Eco Tools Travel Sponge. This is another product that was in my favorites video. I've been using it pretty Pretty much every day, it's been awesome. So for concealer, I really wanted to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. For some reason, when it comes to like fall weather, I do like to go dip into more full coverage concealers. But the thing I like about this one is it's a little bit more of like a moussey texture. So even though I have a lot of drugstore concealers that are great full coverage concealers, this one is slightly more hydrating than some of those. And so I feel like, again, it's a nice transition from summer to fall. And a lot of times people go into more matte makeup when it comes to fall makeup. I'm talking about complexion and obviously there's a time and place for that and I do love a good matte complexion. But recently I've been so into more of a dewy complexion and I almost feel like as the weather cools off and as the air gets even more dry, it dries out the skin. So really we should be kind of doing more dewy looks in the fall than we do in the summer, you know? I'm kind of opposite that way. I feel like mattifying products really work for me in the summertime and then I go with my dewy stuff in the winter and fall. I used the shade Light over blemishes and in the center of the forehead and then I used Fair and then a little bit of light on the edges underneath the eyes. So I'm just gonna take that same sponge and press this into the skin. I got a little bit more um, blemishes right now than usual and I feel like they just need a little bit more coverage. So I'm taking the shade Light and I'm just dabbing a little bit more of that over this area and I'm just gonna press this in with the sponge again. I'm also taking what's left on the sponge and I'm just gonna pat some of that concealer over top of the eyelids just to cancel out any redness there. Usually when I'm doing an everyday look, I wait to do the brows. If I'm doing my eyes first, I like to have the brows on just so that I can kind of see how far to blend the eyeshadow, but usually for easy everyday looks, I go right into the complexion. Alrighty, let's go ahead and set the face. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I've loved this powder. 
I think it's an awesome option at the drugstore. It's very similar to the Laura Mercier powder in my opinion, just as far as the color goes. And I'm gonna use a smaller brush to set the under eye area first. And then I'm gonna take a larger powder brush and I'm gonna set the entire face with that same exact powder. So after setting the face, I usually like to use some sort of a finishing powder. I like this one right here from the drugstore. This is the Milani Prep and Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. I'm gonna put just a little bit of this on the skin. I'm dealing with a little bit more texture today than most days, so I'm gonna skip the jawline entirely, but I am gonna add a little bit of this to the forehead and on the cheeks, and a little bit down the nose as well. All right, we're gonna bronze up the skin with the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I have the shade 01 Sunlight. I have been so into this recently, you guys. I think it's the most beautiful bronzer. I love so many bronzers, but this one is just a beautiful formula. You can use any bronzer that you have. And I'm just gonna use this to start to warm up the complexion. I like to go along the cheeks, along the jawline right here, and down the neck. And of course, along the forehead and into the hairline. So after I've applied that bronzer, I like to take the powder brush that I use and just kind of buff over everything. Just for less of a contoured look and more of like an overall glow. Blending it in helps it look more realistic. All right, we're gonna dip into highlighter next. I'm gonna take this one from Believe Beauty. This is the Radiant Finish Highlighter in the shade Champagne Kiss. And I'm just going to buff this around the high points of the face, so along the cheekbone, and then I also like to kind of get this area here. The nice part about doing this right now is that we don't have the brows done, so I can also do my brow highlight now and not worry about messing up the brows. So I'm just gonna build this up. And I really like this tone. It's more of a true golden champagne, which I really like for looks where I wanna add a little bit of warmth to the skin with my highlight. I like to bring it on the front of the cheeks as well. Okay, that's good for now. Let's move on to eyes. I'm so inspired by this color for fall. I know I've used this before. It's been a while though. This is the Neutrogena Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Dusty Mauve. And this is basically gonna be the star of the show. I'm just gonna take that on a smaller brush. I'm gonna tap off the extra since we do have the complexion products on first. And I'm gonna start to press this closer to the lash line. And then as there's less product on the brush, I'm gonna buff it out into the crease a little bit and then even a little bit above the crease. I'm also gonna take some of that color and run it along the lower lash line. And let's do the same thing on this eye. I like to make sure to connect the lower lash line up with the shadow that we have on the top lid, just so that when you turn to the side, it looks more uniform and cohesive. Let's go ahead and put the brows on. I know I'm kind of doing this in a weird order. You could have definitely done the brows first, but I'm just gonna brush these up really quick and I'm gonna fill it in with the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. I love this. This is in the shade Medium Brown. And I have recently really liked my brows to be a little bit more feathery. So I'll kind of block out the shape a little bit underneath, but right here, I really make sure to do small little flicks with the pencil and that will create what looks like hair. And then I kind of do the same thing through the rest of the brow. And then after I fill it in, I like to flip over the pencil and brush everything through with the spoolie. It just helps to kind of soften everything. Okay, I'm going back to the eyes and I'm just layering a tiny bit more eyeshadow on the lid. I just want this color to really pop on the eyelid. I think it's so pretty and it's amazing what just one eyeshadow can do. It's so simple, but if you pick the right color, it makes such a statement, which I love. Okay, so next I'm gonna line the top lashes with the Neutrogena Smoky Cult Eyeliner. This is in the shade Dark Brown. This is a step that you could totally skip if you're running short on time, but I feel like it really adds something nice to the eyes, even though it's still simple. So I'm just going to line the lash line and I'm not being too precise. That's what's nice about this, is even if you are running late, you can do this and it's not going to um, require too much concentration. So I'm gonna do one eye at a time. So that's what it looks like right now, but then I'm gonna take a small brush and I'm just gonna start to buff that into the lash line. And I'm doing one eye at a time so that the eyeliner doesn't dry down because we still wanna be able to blend everything out. So I'm just gonna keep working this along the lash line. I'm getting some mascara marks falling down. We'll just dust those away. And you really can't mess this up. I'm just gonna continue to go back and forth. And at the end, I'm gonna wing it out a little bit, but again, you really can't mess this up. You can do whatever you want. The more you buff it out, the more beautiful it looks. And it just kind of adds a soft definition to the eye, which I love. So we're just gonna do the same thing to this eye. All right, so I just drew the eyeliner on and now we're going to smudge that out. And really, you could use any color eyeliner you want. If you wanted something a little more intense, you could use a black, you could use a gray, which would be really pretty. You could do navy blue, whatever you want. 
Just make sure that it's not like a liquid liner. I feel like pencils are way better for smudging. All right, I'm kind of hopping all over the place right now. I'm gonna take the NYX Ombre Blush really quickly. And this is in the shade Mauve Me or Mauve Me. And again, this is such a great shade to match the um, eyeshadow. You could actually use the eyeshadow for a blush if you wanted to, depending on what shade it is. If you're using something a little bit darker than this, you might not be able to use it as a blush but I think this mauve color is really, really nice. So I'm actually also going to take that blush and I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of it on the eyelid. It has a bit of a sheen and I just feel like that will kind of add something nice to the eyes. And I'm gonna add that same blush on top of the shadow on the lower lash line as well. And that way everything just ties together perfectly because you're using the same thing on the eyes as you are on the cheeks. I'm not taking any more product. I'm just blending that in a little bit more. I'm gonna take my powder brush and buff everything in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and line the waterline. This is optional as well. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. And having the bright waterline kind of adds a little bit more of a 60s vibe to the look. For mascara, I'm gonna use my ColourPop BFF Mascara in the shade Brownie Points. This is a brown mascara. You could totally use a black mascara, but I just find that brown is kind of fun and soft, but it still defines the lashes. So I've been reaching for this a ton ever since I bought it. I'm just gonna go ahead and layer that on the top lashes and the bottom lashes. And for the lower lashes, I've been really into a little bit more of a PC look. This is optional as well, but I kind of like to clump together the lower lashes on purpose. I think it adds to the 60s vibe with the bright waterline and then a PC lower lash. I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara to the other eye. I got mascara on the eyelid. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. I'm gonna wipe off any foundation that got on the lips. And I wanted to create a little bit of a 90s inspired lip. So I'm gonna first go in with the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Toffee. And I'm gonna line and fill in the lips with this. And I liked this because it's a little bit more of a brown nude. In fall, I do like to wear bold lip colors. But for an everyday look, sometimes you don't want something too intense. So this is kind of like a wearable bold color. So the trick with any 90s lip is to do a darker lip liner than the lipstick. So I'm gonna go in with this lipstick right here. This is the All My Lip Vibes lipstick in the shade Never Regret. It's a really cool kind of caramel nude. And I'm gonna layer this on the inside just to kind of lighten things up. I like to mix those two together. And then I use my finger to just kind of blend it in all the way. All right, so after the lip color is on, I'm just gonna add a little more bronzer. And then again, I'm gonna take powder brush and kind of blend that out. Okay, I'm gonna dust off the mascara marks with the same brush that I used to apply the eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna go back into the Believe Beauty highlighter and just add a little touch of highlight into the inner corner of the eye. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the eyeshadow, a very small amount, and I'm just gonna layer that on top of the existing blush. I actually think that makes a really pretty blush. Okay, everything looks the way I want it to. So now we're gonna go ahead and set the makeup. I want something that's gonna be kind of hydrating. Again, to add to the hydrated look of the skin, that's kind of what I'm going for. So I'm gonna use the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. I'm gonna spray the entire face with this. Mmm, I love how this smells. And then I like to take my handy fan and kind of dry this down. I don't know if this spray really helps the longevity of makeup. I just like the finish that it gives. So you could use your favorite setting spray, whatever that is. And I'm just gonna really take a second to lightly press the skin with the sponge. And that's just gonna add to the overall glow. All right, last but not least, we're gonna set the brows with the NYX Bear With Me Brow Setter. I've loved this ever since I tried it. It gives the best feathery brow look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this through the brows. And I like to first coat the brow hairs in this product. And then I go in with my finger and I kind of lightly tap the brows just to kind of pick up any excess product. And then also it kind of flattens the hairs to the skin and just gives it even more of a textured look. Same thing on this brow. So I feel like there needs to be a little bit of this lip color on the cheeks. So I'm just taking a tiny bit and adding it onto the cheeks. And then I am gonna press a little bit right here. I just felt like there was a slight disconnect between the two colors, but I like the two colors together. I just feel like it needs to be a little bit more intentional. I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge. You could also use a powder blush that matches the lip color to do that. It's kind of easy to just pat the lipstick and then add the exact color where you want it. 
All right, you guys, so that completes this easy everyday fall makeup routine. Again, you guys could totally use whatever color eyeshadow you wanted. It's just the concept that's kind of fun, using one shadow, using the blush on the eyes as well as on the cheeks, using the lipstick on the cheek, just to kind of create more of a monochromatic vibe. I know it's not exactly monochromatic, but you guys get my point. I absolutely love how it turned out. It's glamorous, yet it's still wearable for every day, but I feel like in the fall, you can kind of get away with a little bit more makeup, at least I do. I feel like sweaters really lend themselves to something a little bit more glamorous for every day. In my opinion, I love fall for that reason. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Leave a comment down below letting me know what other videos you would like to see this fall. I'm so inspired by fall makeup, so I would love to hear what you guys would like to see me film with or review, or if there's a specific tutorial you wanna see me do, let me know in the comments. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button, and if you're already a subscriber but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I upload. Thanks again for always coming back to my channel and for watching my videos. You guys are the absolute best. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!